Hello, what's up, guys? Muhammad Darham here. So, guys, I know you are missing me from many days. However, your bro is back. So, right now it's September 18th, 2025. And you guys must have been thinking where is Open Core Legacy Patcher support for macOS Tahoe since it's official least released by Apple INC so unfortunately this year we were not able to reach our target uh, I know I know from the past years such as macOS Ventura macOS Sonoma and macOS Tahoe no sorry macOS Sequoia the open core legacy patcher has always given day one support however this year macOS Tahoe is completely different let me tell you so as you already know that iMac 19.1 19.1 is oh sorry uh, the six models of Intel are already supported by Apple and and, and some bittersweet news as you already know that Intel Macs have the last support by Apple which is macOS Tahoe and after that we will not receive any updates so this is very sad but we have to accept this one day so as you can see we don't only have Intel's chipped off but the main reason for the problem is yeah like you have two types of Macs I'm oh, sorry it's a wait two minutes uh, two minutes oh my god why am I not it's not writing sorry just wait a second so so basically we have two two Macs two types T1 and T2 so T2 also supports iBoot like is Apple Silicon series but the T1 does not support these things at all it depends mostly upon unified extensible firmware interface I has already told you in my last video related to Mac OS 27 why it will not be supported by open core legacy patcher so now as the t1 is completely chipped off from support and even you can see macbook pro 16,3 which is macbook pro 2020 13 inch for two thunderbolt three ports this is completely crazy apple have not even left t2 max capable to support macOS Tahoe and and the reason I suppose is this new redesign as you can see on my iPad my god liquid glass support so it's one of the reasons I guess that why open core legacy patcher was not able to reach their target so t2 challenge it has already see 31001 these are these were the initial support that was shown by open core legacy patcher developers but now what to do next should we install mac OS tahoe on your unsupported mac please do not install yet as i already given you warning with uh, with Mr. Macintosh and Mr. Jesse's flying. They have already warned you not to install macOS Tahoe on your unsupported Macs. Because you are, like, if you suppose, okay, for example, if you are a developer or you can basically support your macOS Tahoe on your unsupported Macs before Open Code Legacy Badger, you are free to do that. I am not stopping you. However, if you don't know how to troubleshoot, you should not try to install macOS Tahoe on your unsupported Macs and now many of the people were thinking that 
we cannot stop Michael Stahl from appearing in system preferences. So, the biggest thing I can say is you can block these updates. We can basically, I'm sorry, you cannot block these updates. It will keep appearing in your system settings. But what things you can do about it? You just have to say, click, you have to uncheck three boxes. Download new updates, install them, and you should only turn on install security updates and app updates. So, like you must be thinking that, okay, I do not, I will not click the button of download macOS uh, to macOS Tahoe, but it's not simple as you think. Apple systems have have already an automatic system in which you, they can install like let me see okay these are already embedded to like like this they have already embedded and install automatic updates so the thing is okay you say that i will not install mac os tahoe on my unsupported mac like if it gets downloaded what's the problem in that but it's a very huge problem the thing is for example for example you were on mac os sequoia 15.7 for suppose and okay so this is what your system settings and was saying mac os tahoe download blah 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 the informations and say okay let's download it but that's very risky once like if you download it the mac os tahoe is gonna create its files in system settings already it will create files okay okay i don't know what to exactly name it uh, naming this okay let's say tahoe one you have a file tahoe one okay and another file tahoe two so this like and now it's a very huge problem for suppose if mac os sequoia 15 point seven one comes out now as you already know when it's updated it requires installing root patches again you have to reinstall your root patches so now for suppose if you click okay install root patches okay i have checked that but you will not be able to install root patches here is why so it will check the system okay check for version and it will create a version version mismatch and now it will read as mac os 26.0 and you will not be install, able to install groot patches until you reset your mac go back to your supported softwares and again go through that process to install mac os sequoia on your unsupported macs so it's a very huge headache so so the biggest advice i'm gonna give is to avoid installing macros tahoe so now what's the estimated time arrivals i have seen many people bothering developers in discord channels they say when eta when eta and he has given them eta many times that it will not be available as soon as possible so the biggest thing is that a team model is needed to be supported my open core legacy patch and this is gonna take much time as i expect as i said this is gonna take much time a huge ton of work is left according to mr mcintosh 30 models is working but what is for the rest of the models the rest of the models need extensive root patches work 
and let's check as with every year we cannot support when support will be added as a rough estimate we hope for upcoming winter with open core legacy patcher 2000 and uh sorry 3.0.0 so i know that before that open core legacy patcher said we hope for winter 2026 now there is again a change by the main developer within FG. so now let's see what happens when we can see open core legacy patcher 3.0.0 with mac OS tahoe so now let's end this video see you soon with another music video or even nasheed videos so thank you for watching subscribe to our hammocks one two three four